the mysterious telomere capping the genetic shoelace. If chromatids were shoelaces, the telomeres would be the little plastic caps on either end. In humans, each of these genetic caps contains thousands of repeats of the six nucleotide sequence TTAGGG. Essentially, they serve four main functions to protect the ends of the chromosomes from fusing or being degraded, to mask chromosome ends from DNA damage response mechanisms that might trigger apoptosis to help position chromosomes in the nucleus, and most importantly, to maintain chromosome length through many generations of replication. To better understand the importance of telomeres, we first need to talk a bit more about the cell cycle. The cell cycle itself is made up of five phases. G1, S, G2 and M phase make up the growth component of the cycle, and in the phase G0, cells are in senescence or are terminally differentiated. Without the telomeres capping either end, the complementary 5' prime end of a chromosome would progressively shorten with each passage through the cycle, as the 3' prime end of the lagging strand is not fully replicated by DNA polymerase. This is because the enzyme requires a 3' prime hydroxyl group from an RNA primer to commence nucleotide synthesis. Eventually, this would result in the erosion of chromosomes, loss of genes and apoptosis of the cell which altogether is termed the end replication problem. In normal cells, this is overcome by the ribonucleotide protein telomerase, which recognises the telomere repeat sequence via an inbuilt RNA template and extends the length of the telomeres through its reverse transcriptase activity. Thus, chromosome length is maintained and the cells can continue replicating. Therefore, processing events in the leading and lagging DNA strands result in the loss of telomere repeats with each division, rather than the loss of genetic information. This eventually leads to a critical point where senensis is triggered and the cells go into G0 phase of the cell cycle. Normal cells can only replicate between 30 and 50 times before this occurs. Mutations in telomerase and the RNA primer used by telomerase to extend telomeres are a genetic risk factor for the development of disease and is found in patients with varied pathologies such as aplastic anemia, severe hepatic cirrhosis and familial pulmonary fibrosis. In diseases such as dyskeratosis congenita, there is low telomerase function, while in approximately 85-90% to 90 of cancers, telomerase activity is upregulated, which enables the telomeres to maintain their length. This allows the cell to replicate indefinitely and is a critical step in tumour progression. Telomerase activity can thus be targeted in the treatment of cancer growth. Thank you.